and in this series of modules we will talk about DNA's role in heredity. Before we start looking at the molecular mechanisms, let me give you a brief historic preview. In 1920s, people knew that genetic information was contained on the chromosome. However, as we know, chromosomes are made up of two types of polymers, proteins and DNA. At that time, people used to think that DNA, since it is made up of four monomer units, it would lack complexity to carry the genetic information from one generation to the next. The many people who favored proteins as the genetic or heredity molecule. In 1920, people had already invented dye which could bind DNA. Dye is basically a color molecule. This color molecule could specifically bind DNA. People noticed that DNA is present in the right location in the nucleus and additionally it is the, the amount of DNA, they could quantify the amount of DNA and they noticed that the amount of DNA in reproductive cells as compared to other cells in the body, so which also made sense. However, it took about 35 years for people to know conclusively that DNA was the heredity molecule. Now we will talk about some experiments which helped people lead or realize that DNA is the heredity molecule. The first experiment I will talk about is Frederick Griffith's experiment. Frederick Griffith was a physician. He was trying to find serum or trying to inoculate mice with a specific type of bacteria. This bacteria caused pneumonia. There were two types of these bacteria, one S strain and the other R strain. The S strain bacteria made smooth colonies on a dish, whereas R bacteria, R kind of this pneumonia causing bacteria made rough colonies. So he, Griffith, inoculated, when he inoculated mice with living S bacteria, the mice got the disease, they got the pneumonia and they died. However, when he injected living R bacteria, the mice did not die. The bacteria, the, the smooth bacteria or the S bacteria, they, the living bacteria, they make a capsule. This capsule is made up of shiny proteoglycan molecule and it can evade the hosts or mice, in this case, the mouse's immune system. In the next series of experiment, he heat killed the S bacteria and added them with the living R bacteria and injected them in the mice. This experiment resulted in death of the mouse. When he examined the mouse blood, he saw that mouse contained the bacteria of S type, living bacteria of S type and also some R bacteria. Now please keep in mind that he did not add any S bacteria, living S bacteria in the mice. So how did these living S bacteria came about? So he thought that maybe there was something from the dead S bacteria that caused the transformation of the R bacteria into an S type bacteria. This is also called transforming principle. He also, other people took this experiment further. They were able to, uh, to manage this experiment even without the mouse. So if they mixed R bacteria, living R bacteria with dead S bacteria in a test tube, they could see the R bacteria getting transformed into S bacteria. Next people did, what people did is they identified the individual components which is basically the individual polymers would be the lipids, carbohydrates, nucleic acids and proteins. The other scientists took this experiment a step further. They came up with chemicals that could destroy one of these polymers. Each time they did this experiment, the, the result they got was if you destroyed carbohydrates, lipids or proteins, if you left the DNA intact, 
it would still cause the transformation of R cell type, R bacteria, into S bacteria. Their work was pretty much ignored. However, this was a significant discovery, although it was ignored. It basically showed that DNA is the molecule that has the ability to transform S R R living R cells into S cells. Next, we will look at other experiments that also try to locate, try to find, discover what is the genetic material. Since this is the experiment in 1944, the results of this experiment were published and it was basically ignored by the scientific community. Next, we are going to look at another experiment that conclusively, uh, uh, that conclusively showed that DNA is the heredity molecule.